Today, we're going to talk about the power of being proactive instead of being reactive. I remember growing up raising goats. I had to take my goats out to pasture up this valley called Magigut. Magigut was at the base of the, in the, set of the Sufra Hills. And as it comes down from the hills, from the mountain, it was this gut, this gorge, which about, about 200 feet deep with lush green sites, trees cascading up to the sky, and made um, grass all over the place so that your goats could eat and everything. Thing. So I took my goats up to Magic Gut and I had them and I tethered them and tied them, you know, and they ate grass all day long. So we went back to get them. And when we went back to get them, I was with two other friends. And, and if they're watching this, they'll know exactly who they are. And uh, we went back to get them. And while we went back to get them, they were getting theirs and I was getting ours. And I lose. Instead of going, I'm going up the hill. And there was about five or four of them that was tied in different spots going up, up, up the hill so that they could eat the grass. And what I did, instead of start loosing them from the top and then bringing them down while I was holding them, I start loosening them from the bottom and then taking them up the hill with me. One of them got loose and decided it's going to run off into the, <laughs> into the bushes. And I just subconsciously, I just dropped the rope for the others and took running off to catch it, not realizing all the others went their own way as well. I started chasing these goats. And while I was chasing these goats frantically all around, trying to catch them, catch the rope so that I could get control of them again, I rolled over and I kept rolling and rolling and rolling as I fell. And I rolled into this big bush of wild strawberry trees. Yes, wild strawberries are delicious. They are tasty. They smell good. But the unique thing about a strawberry bushes is that they have thorns on them. So I rolled into these bushes and while I was rolling in the bushes, I was being pricked. It was like these pin pricks all over my body and it hurt. It hurt. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to talk about the, the power of being uh, proactive instead of being reactive. You see, in life, what we do, we act just like I acted there. Instead of making and taking the necessary steps before, so I won't have to endure the struggle and the troubles later, I always, we always wait and be, pro, and be reactive instead of being proactive. Instead of learning what we need to learn so that when we go to work, we could be more effective in what we do, we wing it. And by winging it, we might get away with it for a few days or a few weeks or a few months. Then all of a sudden, our success comes dead hit. All of a sudden, more is required of us and we're not able to produce more because we weren't proactive. We didn't grow ourselves. We didn't learn. We didn't... We didn't we didn't go through the process of being mentored. We didn't go through the process of increasing our mental stamina. We didn't go through the process of building our own emotions. You see, in life, we're, when we're not proactive, we're weak on the inside. If we're weak on the inside, we cannot handle the things that life will throw at us. We cannot handle the circumstances that life will throw at us. I remember, you know, I'm, I'm speaking basically this point here to the young. You know, I remember when I was young, you know, it was all about having fun. It was about having nice clothes and going out there and having fun. It was nothing about saving and setting aside monies or going on a budget and looking at what I do. It was all about going out and having fun with your friends and then going out and doing all what you need to do. And then all of a sudden, you had to react to all the problems that he created. You had to react to all the problems he created when you were broke. You had to react to all the problems when you couldn't do things and you just felt miserable. You had to react with all, to all of the problems in, in, in terms of your self-esteem being down because you couldn't go anywhere because there was no money in your pocket. 
You see, and that's what happened when you're young. When you're young, you're not proactive. When you're young, you have a tendency to think life is just to be lived. Life is just to be enjoyed. So I'm going to throw caution to the wind and I'm not going to grow anything. I'm going to throw caution to the wind. I'm not going to spend the time to read. I'm going to throw caution to the wind. I'm not going to spend the time to develop myself. I'm going to throw ca caution to the wind and I'm not going to do none of that. I'm just going to enjoy life because I have one life to live and I'm going to live it. There is nothing wrong with enjoying life. There is nothing wrong with living life. Yes, you do have one life to live, but you have to realize you have to do it in a smart way. You have to be proactive. You have to learn to grow yourself. You have to learn to deal with you. You have to learn to set yourself in a budget. You have to learn to save. You can't spend everything that you make. It doesn't matter. You don't have to look like the Joneses. You, it's better to be able to take care of yourself and being able to go out there and enjoy life than to not have anything. You see, while I was rolling and I was falling in those strawberry trees, you know, I couldn't stop myself. It was totally un un uncontrollable because I was rolling down a hill and I was rolling down a hill and I remember the first time seeing them, I really wished that I was Superman. I could get up and fly, but I couldn't. I just rolled over. And as I rolled over, I had scratches on my arms. I had um, a thorn stuck into my, you know, they weren't that big of thorns, but yet they were, <laughs> they were enough to make you uncomfortable. They were enough to make scratches. And that's what life does. Life have a tendency of making scars and scratches and beat us up. But if we're not able to endure life, if we're not proactive, if we don't do the necessary things that we need to do today, then we'll suffer tomorrow. Always when Remember, you do today, you have to be willing to do today what others will not, so you can do tomorrow what others cannot. You see, as we're going through all what's going on, you're going through all the economic chaos and all the economic instability in uh, instability all around the world. You see, so you can't live like you're in a palace. You have to live and realize, I have to save some for a rainy day. You have to realize, hey, I may have to retool myself. Hey, I may need to sit down for two hours, one hour every day and learn something new. Hey, I may need to sit down and learn something that helps me to increase my, 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 my personal growth and, and, and that helps me to be better at what I do. I may need to learn something that helps me to communicate more effectively with others. I may need to learn something that helps me to uh, uh, relate to others better. If you look at all of what's happening around in the world and you want to be able, whenever you open up your mouth, that words of wisdom, words of life, words of grace comes out. You want to be able to speak hope into people's lives. You want your words to be, to be sweet to the flesh and nourishment to people's bones. You want whenever you speak, words of wisdom, words of grace and words of understanding comes out. You want whenever you're talking with your friends or whenever you're talking to your family, you able to give out words of wisdom and words of understanding. You're able to build people up instead of tear people down. You're able to see around the corners of life and see what's coming and prepare for them. You see, you always prepare for opportunities before opportunities come. So you want to be sitting down every single day and you want to be working on you. And as you work on you, you're able to prepare for those opportunities. You see, as I was trekking up and getting those goats, it was amazing, you know, because the scenery around was picturesque. It was beautiful. The smells that you could smell, the bananas and the banana trees. There was a few ripe banana tree, a banana bunches on banana trees. So you could smell the aroma of bananas in the air. You had mangoes and you had all kinds of different fruits all around me. But you see, the fundamental fact is I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. I wasn't being proactive. You see, all what I needed to do was to start from the top, loose one from the top, held it, then come down to the neck, loose it, held it, and came all the way down. And I would have completed that task without having to go through the troubles that I went through. And that's what happens when we we, uh, we are not proactive. When we're not proactive, what happens? We set ourselves up for failure. 
in business there's a concept called the Puerto Principle and the Puerto Principle states that you know 80% of the people will do nothing 20% of the people are the ones who will do all the work you see 20% of the people are the ones who will give 80% of the people are usually the ones who come and take and that's what happens you know a lot of times we look at people who are successful and we look at them as successful and we say I want to be just like that person but we want to do the bare minimum and that's what the 80 percenters do they do the bare minimum and they will never be able to join the the 20 percent crowd so you see you have to live a life that's extraordinary you have to live a life that you're growing yourself you have to live a life that you're cultivating yourself and you're growing yourself every day and by doing that you are able to understand the power of being proactive instead of being reactive so go out there and learn to do you. Go out there and learn to grow you. Don't be like a sluggard and lie around because just as the book of Proverbs said, that's what leads you to poverty. Don't be somebody who goes out there and spends everything they have because just like the book of Proverbs says, that's what leads you to poverty. Don't be somebody who doesn't learn from the ant and save things up in, in times of harvest and times of good because you'll run into poverty. That's exactly what the book of Proverbs says. So go out there and learn to grow you. Go out there and learn the power of being proactive instead of being reactive. God bless you. Have an awesome growth day. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button below. Hit the subscribe button. And when you hit the subscribe button, don't forget to select the bell because by selecting the bell, it'll give you that wonderful opportunity to be notified whenever I add a new video. God bless you and you can do it. I believe in you and I believe you can.